Part 4, The Power of Social Proof, Because Everyone is Doing It. This is a summary of my reading notes from Influence by Robert Cialdini. Today let's dive even deeper into the fascinating realm of social proof, expanding upon its various facets and exploring its influence in greater detail. This extended lesson will provide us with a more comprehensive understanding of how social proof shapes our behaviors and decisions, even in the most unexpected scenarios, and it will take approximately 11 minutes to explore. Imagine, if you will, a scenario where health researchers are diligently working to combat the pervasive issue of smoking among school children. In their quest for effective strategies, they stumble upon a remarkable finding, the profound impact of peer influence. It becomes evident that a school-based anti-smoking program yields lasting effects when it employs same-age peer leaders as teachers. This discovery emphasizes the potency of social proof, as children are more likely to be swayed by the guidance of their peers who share similar ages and experiences. Furthermore, consider another intriguing study that uncovers a similar trend. Children who are exposed to a film depicting a positive dental visit by another child subsequently experience a significant reduction in their dental anxieties. Remarkably, this effect is most pronounced when the child in the film is of the same age as the viewer. This not only highlights the persuasive power of social proof but also underscores its role in shaping our emotions and anxieties, demonstrating that it extends beyond mere behavior modification. Now, let's shift our focus to a personal anecdote that provides a vivid illustration of how uncertainty is intricately intertwined with the principle of social proof. In this story, I found myself determined to teach my young son, Chris, how to swim at an early age to ensure his safety. However, there was a twist. Chris was attending a day camp that offered an array of activities, including access to a large pool, which he had consistently avoided. Then, on one unforgettable day, I arrived at the camp a bit earlier than usual and was astounded to witness Chris confidently running down the diving board and fearlessly leaping into the deepest part of the pool. When I inquired about the sudden and daring change in behavior, Chris, with the innocence of a child, responded, well, I'm three years old, and Tommy is three years old. And Tommy can swim without a flotation ring, so that means I can too. In this heartwarming yet instructive anecdote, we witness firsthand how uncertainty serves as the steadfast companion of the principle of social proof. Chris felt uncertain about swimming until he observed someone very much like him, Tommy, demonstrating the desired behavior without hesitation. Now, now, let us embark on a more somber exploration of the principle of social proof, focusing on a tragic event in history, the infamous Jonestown tragedy. In a remote corner of Guyana, charismatic leader Reverend Jim Jones persuaded his devoted followers to commit mass suicide. How did he achieve such a horrifying feat? The answer lies in the calculated exploitation of the principle of social proof. In the unfamiliar and isolated environment of Guyana, the temple members were exceptionally susceptible to the influence of others. However, what distinguishes this case is that there were no similar others outside of the Jonestown community itself. These individuals had not been hypnotized into submission but had been convinced, partly by Reverend Jones and largely by the principle of social proof, that suicide was the correct course of action. When faced with the uncertain and unthinkable command to end their own lives, they naturally turned to those around them for guidance. What they observed was twofold. First, they saw their compatriots willingly consume poison drafts, a sight that must have wielded tremendous psychological influence. This example illustrates the profound impact of observing similar others engaged in extreme behavior, a phenomenon amplified when performed without hesitation by one's immediate neighbors in an enclosed community like Jonestown. Secondly, the Jonestown residents gauged the reactions of the crowd, a process that aligns closely with the pluralistic ignorance phenomenon observed during emergencies. Each individual in Jonestown looked around and perceived an eerie calmness, as everyone else was surreptitiously assessing rather than reacting. Consequently, they learned that patient turn-taking, adhering to the morbid command, was the correct behavior. This tragic narrative underscores a vital lesson, leaders, particularly charismatic ones, may not individually persuade every member of their group, but they can successfully convince a substantial portion of the group. This, in turn, exerts substantial influence over the rest. The most influential leaders are those who possess the insight to orchestrate group conditions that maximize the power of social proof, thereby shaping collective behavior. However, the question that lingers is how we can defend ourselves against a weapon of influence that infiltrates such a wide spectrum of human behavior. Often, we don't wish to guard against social proof, as it frequently offers valuable guidance on how to navigate complex decisions efficiently without the need for exhaustive individual analysis. Yet, there are circumstances where social proof can lead us astray. One such scenario occurs when social evidence is deliberately falsified. These situations are often manufactured by manipulators' intent on crafting a contrived impression of desired behavior. Fortunately, such instances are frequently transparent, allowing us to safeguard ourselves by temporarily disconnecting our automatic pilot when confronted with counterfeit social proof. Another situation where social proof may mislead us is when an innocent and natural error snowballs into social proof that steers us toward an incorrect decision. Consider the pluralistic ignorance phenomenon during emergencies, where individuals, uncertain about whether to react, take cues from others' apparent calmness. In such cases, it's crucial to remember that an automatic pilot device like social proof should never be wholeheartedly trusted. Regular checks are essential to ensure it remains in harmony with other sources of evidence, such as objective facts, prior experiences, and personal judgments. A simple, occasional glance around our surroundings can suffice to recalibrate our decision-making mechanisms. To conclude, social proof is an intricate and potent force that profoundly shapes our behaviors, decisions, and emotions. It is most potent when we are uncertain and when we perceive others as similar to us. Expanding our comprehension of this principle not only enhances our understanding of human behavior but also equips us with the tools to navigate the intricate web of influence that surrounds us in our complex society. Thank you for accompanying me on this extended journey into the captivating realm of social proof.